Hello, Link Kids. Welcome to week four of the Subscribe Now series. And like I said, in the past few weeks, we've been going on a beautiful journey as we are learning about Jesus and the journey that we get to go on with Jesus. This week, we are learning about how Jesus asks us to follow him. And so I'm gonna read a scripture for you and I'm gonna paint the picture so that you understand where we are in the Bible. Got your Bibles out, you can read with me. I'm reading from Luke chapter five. And so let me paint the picture for you. Jesus is preaching on a hill and there are so many people that are coming to listen to him. He decides it's better for me to preach to them while standing on a higher platform. And so he asks Simon if he could please borrow his boat so he could stand on the edge of the boat and preach to his people. But Jesus already had a plan. He wanted to talk to Simon. He wanted Simon's attention. And so Simon was fishing. He fished the whole night throwing his nets from left to right, and he caught nothing. And this is what Jesus had to say. And so as Jesus got onto one of the boats belonging to Simon, he asked for it to be pulled out a little bit on the shore. And as he sat on it and taught to the people of the boat, he was then finished speaking. And he said to Simon, put out into the water a deep net and let's begin the catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night and we caught nothing. But because you say so, I will now let down the nets. When they had done so, they had caught such a large amount of fish that the nets actually began to break. The boat begins to sink. The nets are filled with fish. And so they signaled to all of their friends to come help them as they pull the boat out and pull the nets out as they could begin to pull in this massive catch of fish. And the boats were so filled, they began to fill all the boats and then it began to sink. And so after that, Jesus says to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, I'm going to teach you to fish for people. So they pulled up all of their boats to shore. And guess what? They left everything right there and they began to follow Jesus. And so kids, this message is a beautiful one. Jesus asks us, follow me. You see, with Jesus, there's always a better way. There is always a beautiful life. There is a beautiful promise over our lives. All we have to do is say yes. And so I would love to invite you this week to say yes to following Jesus. Even if it means that sometimes we have to put something down, just like the disciples had to put their fish aside. Sometimes we have to put something down to pick up something from God. But guess what? Saying yes to Jesus is our greatest joy. It'll be our greatest adventure. And so Link Kids, this week, would you look at your beautiful lives and say, Jesus, how can I say yes to you this week? How can I say yes to you in this moment? Even if I have to put something down to follow you, would we be those people who would always say yes to following Jesus? I hope that you have enjoyed these few minutes of magic as we've unpacked the big idea. If you've got any questions, raise your hands in the kids' rooms. Our kids' crew and our kids' teachers will be there to help you along the way. Enjoy the crafts, enjoy worship. And this week, would we say yes to following Jesus?